Hello and welcome to another episode of The High Techman. I'm your High Techman, I am Ken Chan. And today I want to take a look at a little app uh, that you can use on Linux. It's called um, Crypt Keeper. Um, and it's a pretty interesting little app. Uh, I wanted to uh, show you a little bit about it. Uh, I've experimented with and loaded this onto Linux Mint 17.1 and Zubuntu 14.04 and 15.04. So um, when I'm talking about it, I'm talking about my personal experience using it on these distros. Um, so anyway, um, the, on, on 17.1, on the uh, Mint 17.1 here, I have it on the panel. And one of the things I've noticed is it's a little bit difficult to open. But uh, first I'm going to show you how to get it. You open terminal and you sudo apt get install crypt keeper. Okay. Put in your password. Whoops, 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 whoops. whoops. I think I screwed that up. Yes, yes, yes. All thumbs. Okay, so Crypt Keeper is already the newest version. Okay, so this is already on here. But you would just do that and follow through. Or, of course, here we go again. We can go into the menu and to our store. You put in your password. I'm picking my nose, uh, uh, waiting for this to open. Okay, here we go. Um, so, this is open here, and we can look for it in here. I just open up all packages. If, I know, if, if I'm looking for something in particular, I just open up all packages. I don't bother to... Crypt Keeper. Okay. And there it is. And you would just go ahead and follow through downloading it this way. Okay. Now, what does it do? Well, it's it basically it's for uh, I think they made it for married men because it's the best way in the world to hide your porn from your wife and your kids. So let's go ahead actually and open this up. I have mine out on the panel as I said. Now see there I clicked it once and it came up. Sometimes you have to double click it. Sometimes you'll double click it and two little keys will come up. But this little key popped up over here. Okay, next to the stop and pause button here. So we're going to go to this key and we're going to click this and we're going to say new encrypted folder and we'll put this in Kendall and we'll call it Cheddar Lick and that can be code for porn. Okay, and we're going to hide our porn from our wife now. Here we go. Right, so you don't want to hit anything else. You just have your name there. It's going in Kendall. Okay, saving the folder there. Okay, so forward, and we make a password. Let's make our password exponential. Right, okay. Exponential. All right, so we're gonna put this in. We're gonna hit forward. And there it is, Cheddar Lake. Okay, so it's been successfully created. We X out of that. And then we can actually go into this. And it doesn't show up yet. This is a little squirrely. Okay, but for now we're going to open this up. Okay, so that's nice and empty. Okay, so where is our porn? Where did we say that was? It can be anything. It doesn't it doesn't matter? So we put this in here. There it is. Then we can do this. Okay, and then we can do this. Okay, now quitting that leaves this behind. So that's not. Uh, that's one of the things about this I don't like that much. Um, you actually have to reopen it to get the the new folder that you just made to show up on the list. And here it is. 
home cheddar lick. Okay, so we're gonna uncheck that. Notice. Okay, there's other applications using this. We're gonna kill that. Okay, doesn't matter. Um. Anyway, so we have check. If we check mark it, it wants a. It wants the password that we put in. Exponential. And then path that shows up up there. Okay, so see how it works. Otherwise, it's totally hidden. It's, it disappears entirely. It's not even on. You know, if you do this and you uncheck this, it disappears. Okay, and if you go looking for that, it's not there. Okay, let's let's show you the one. Okay, I have a folder on here called access denied. Well, whoops. Okay, so my stash though is in here. I put this in, see? This thing that says access denied, this means you chump out of here. So, if we get rid of it to hide it, we unhighlight it there. Poof, it disappears up here. How about that? Isn't that great? So not only does, does it put it behind a password, you can actually hide the folder entirely. Okay, and one more thing, just as important as anything else here, how to get rid of your folder if you want to. Well, you hit your key. And we, uh, that's highlighted. I'm assuming that you already have it check marked. Um, and we say edit and then we pick our cheddar lick folder and we delete are you sure okay do you want to erase the encrypted data yes and there we go and that does that so there you have it that is uh, basically your your basic crypt keeper app uh, on uh, on Linux on um, again uh, Mint 17.1 Zubuntu 15.04 and 14.04 um, and there you have it don't forget to share and subscribe see you next time